welcome to another episode of get hub copilot in today's episode we'll look into the intellij how we can configure copilot in intellij the basics around copilot in intellij so let us move to the intellij id once you open the intellij you have the project customize plugins area go to plugins marketplace search for copilot and ensure that you are looking at github copilot the one with the github copilot icon here identified that way there are multiple copilots plugins are available but look for github copilot and go ahead and install so installation once it's complete it will ask for the restart of the id go for the restart once the id is restarted you have copilot available as a helping tool for you so let us go to one of the projects open a new project or existing project notice that copilot is available here in case you are not logged in already go to the tools github copilot you will have a login information here here it's already logged in so that is why it's um, logout is saying in case you need uh, some information about the welcome gate view welcome gate you have the step by step instructions how you can use copilot so you can use this uh, welcome gate for understanding different areas and the links are provided for documentation as well go to the documentation for more details i'm going to close the welcome gate and if you want to directly go to the documentation tools github copilot view copilot documentation this will open the documentation in your browser so you have the welcome gate open in your browser you can understand more about copilot under the overview you have the copilot for business and individual based on that you can open it and for using getting started will be the best way jet brain id will cover the intellij aspects go there okay there are multiple other areas in the tools copilot angle you if you want to understand the keyword shortcuts go to the edit keyword shortcuts to understand what kind of code shortcuts are available under the plugins go for github copilot expand it to understand the different shortcuts available for you especially this next suggestion and previous suggestion will be of great support for you and at the same time the remaining areas in terms of uh, completion auto completion and line selection and everything is available here and again tools github copilot you have the settings available here in case you want to understand what kind of settings are there go here and you understand there is a automatic completion is enabled side by side execution of this copilot and the id is available and if you want to enable so some of the things like a plugin update if you want to automatically check the plugin updates or enable for a particular language only you can do that one and in case there is a proxy setting required you can configure that here so this is the copilot settings available in intellij and if you go to copilot account settings you will get more details on how to do all these aspects going back to copilots and you have another angle is the log diagnostic the log details are available here let us complete some of the chat then we'll go and understand what kind of uh, log data is available so primarily for generating a new code for a method or anything you can go ahead and ask copilot to add a new method for verifying the customer so there is a customer verification is there so if you want a regex for here you can do it that way so i just need this much so i just uh, completed the verification code and the function is over but in case you have a specific verification condition in terms of um, 
uh, inside I need the verification of a email address separately you can specify that validate the email using regex so this is what I need so the customer email is extracted and it's going to validate that against a particular regex format if you want to know what exactly this regex all together is doing select that one and let us go to copilot chat and slash explain i need an explanation of this regex which is constructed by copilot itself for verifying the customer details so it's giving the complete details step by step it's taken the regex and it's broken down into the first symbol indicate that assert in the start of the line and s to assert capital a to assert this indicate what kind of characters can be utilized and in between there is a dot symbol also coming and plus indicate single kind of thing so at the end also managed so the regex is given an explanation most of the time it's very difficult to understand what exactly the regex is doing so there are multiple slash commands available we have uh, deal with uh, these slash commands in the other videos if you want a simplified view like if i need to do a documentation for this go for doc which create the documentation nicely added the documentation into each of the elements which will help us to do a quick documentation especially when you deal with the legacy application kind of thing if you feel your code is so complex you want to simplify the code go for a simplify slash simplify will ensure that it simplified the entire code so instead of this um, uh, 10 to 15 lines of code it's a uh, simplified to a few lines of code which will improve that performance and readability angle kind of thing and in case there is any kind of fixes record you can go for the fix and generation of unit test case also supports a slash command along with this um, if we want to understand more about this particular method where it is called or you want to know in a particular file this method is called or not i can select that and specify that um, is this get customer method invoked in any api class and if you want to pass further information i can go ahead and look for the controller classes here there is a Contro customer controller that is uh, one and one more is there I can see a access controller maybe it is used at two places I just passing this as additional context files if you want to pass such files you can use this plus symbol which is not open here but you want uh, to refer these files as part of the contextual response so I have passed these two files along with uh, my uh, request for what exactly this get customer method where it is used it's identified that a customer controller dot java is uh, used this one this is the place so i'm going a little further and understanding whether this method user flow of this method define define the user flow of get customer method so I am expecting as it's uh, already referred in the previous one, the get customer is getting called by customer controller. So I need the NDA flow kind of thing. So as it's uh, captured here, when I pass the customer controller here, so it specified customer controller contain uh, routing slash customer. When the customer use this one, it hit the get customer method and it's invoked the customer dos get customer method and uh, returns the customer object that in turn returns to the friend end or the user so the step by step invocation or the user flow is captured nicely here start a fresh new conversation with the, the chat then you can go for a plus sign which start a new chat session altogether 
which will help us to link to a, another set of chat and in case this chat needs to sometimes our preferences are varies the chat uh, panel should be in the right side or left side you can move this to different places so that it will be reassigned to your favorite location so these are the basics of copilot in intellij start from installation and different copilot chat information or copilot settings information as part of tools github copilot then few chat features now let us look on the logs available so the diagnostic logs i have selected it's captured the complete one and you can see that it's a enable the certification and all some some level of logging is offered by copilot logs here you can drill down further on this logs to understand further information and in case you have a certification kind of thing you can take the log of ca certificate available that is also captured thank you